Did you like our last video of using a Raspberry Pi and hooking it up to control your printer? I hope you did. Some of you did, some of you didn't. But if you didn't like that, I've got another way. And we'll show you right after. Hey everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to E3D. I'm Mike. And I'm Sierra. And we make mistakes. So you don't have to. And that was absolutely planned. Oh yeah. 100%. Whatever. So anyways, we put out a video on how to hook a Raspberry Pi up to this. The problem was we put the video out and it was one of the worst videos we had. Because not everybody agrees with the Raspberry Pi on the new printer. Not everyone wants to add that Raspberry Pi. I got it. I don't want to put a Pi on my printer either. But anyways, so um, <laughs> we decided to figure out how to do this wirelessly. Uh, it's something that I've, for some reason, that one I never really tried to do. We couldn't and, figure it out either. We did try for a solid okay, week. You ain't gotta call weeks. me out. I can't figure it out, okay? That's fine. Um, so with the iFast, we decided to give it a shot. Um, there's two ways that we can do this. And the first way is? You can send it over the Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Exactly. So accidentally, like we're sitting there and like, I just, I don't know how to get this thing to work. And then it hit me, the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um, it's like, let me try the Wi-Fi. And I got the Wi-Fi. The, uh, what's the word? The IP address. It's got the IP address off of this printer and uh, looked at it down there and boom, it worked. And here's a quick video on how I did it. I set a print using the Wi Fi. We're going to come over here. We're going to change the name on this. We're going to put V2 and then we're going to send it through the Wi Fi. Now, this method is much faster to use. All right, and do we want to print it? Yes, we do. And so now, we can see that it is now printing through the Wi-Fi. And that's how that's done. Now that you like that video, um, <laughs> then we decided to give it a shot using the control panel, uh, which I didn't know what that did. So I went to control panel and did it. Um, and did it that way. And this video shows you how that works. So first things first, you wanna go on and open your file. And once you have all your settings where you want, go on and prepare it at this time. Here, we're going to rename it. And we're going to save the file. Once you open the control panel, you want to make sure you can see your, your printer. Connect to it.
and we're going to drag our new file All right, so now that that file is loaded, we can come down here, find it, and then hit print, and it will send it to the printer. So you can see everything starts moving. Temp should be kicking up here in a minute. There we go, 208.60. Stop it, don't want to stop it, yes. All right, so it should be stopping itself here in a minute. All right, there we go. And that's how you print using the control panel. And that's how easy it is. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. So if, you don't want to take your thing apart, take this thing, wire it up to here, possibly mess something up. Um, if you don't want to take that chance, don't. Do it over Wi-Fi. And you still, the very fourth option is also, you still have the USB stick. Yep, and I would pull it out and show you, but I'm printing something right now, and I'll show you eventually. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> possibly. I don't know. Means a chance. But anyway, so that's the easiest way to do it. So you've got a video on how to connect a Raspberry Pi to it. We've also showed you how to use the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi. And we've also shown you how to use the Chidi Print control panel. Um, if none of those work for you, you still got the old USB. legs. And children, because and that's what he does for us. Their legs. Hey kids, can you give me the stick? Sure, Dad. And then they bring it down to me. I load it on. Oh, and my my computer's downstairs, so they're up and down. Yeah, and he's like, oh wait, wait, it, it'll just be a second, and he uploads it, and then we have to walk all the way up the stairs and plug it in. And then when they get it plugged in, and then I can print it from down there, um, but they're not ready for it up here, so then they have to stop it. And it's just a mess. I don't know what to do with my life. Maybe walk it and do it yourself. No. Well, if you like this video, you, you like, could do what? Like, comment, subscribe, you turn on notifications. Share it. Oh, yeah. You can share it, too, if you want. Yep. You can also check in the description because we have a Patreon and also a tip jar. So if you don't want to keep adding money every month, which we understand. Because we're not consistent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> We're not consistent. You can put it in the tip jar and it can go to bigger projects, which we hope to do soon. Which we are this close for our first big crowdfunded project. Um, I say big, but uh, it's something that's really cool. I think you all will like. Uh, we're really this close to it. Um, and so, yeah. Well, we'll see you next time. Maybe. Hopefully, Hopefully. soon. <laughs> Cheers. P.S. There's a new printer coming out. I've got all the details. But I'm not telling you. What I want you to get. The handle. So anyways.